not scratching my floor. Hi guys. <laughs> Hello. Hello strangers. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> you guys watch the, um, the little TikTok that's been going around the little girl's voice. She's Hello, stranger. <laughs> ah, you guys feel like strangers. It's been a while. Hello, hello. So I am here. I'm hoping I'm ready. I have um, three bottles here in front of me. I've kind of been going through stuff to pick stuff, things. <laughs> and we're going to see which one floats my boat. Maybe all three of them. I don't know. Um... I did a little uh, project. If you, I wish I had it here with me. I've already got it over to ship uh, a frame project earlier this morning in my group. And oh, it's so sweet. I love it. Um, follower asked me to make it for, um, oh, she had lost a family member and then they um, had a picture with her husband and her little boy and she wanted a special frame for it. So, oh, so I got to make that for her. That was really special. So anyway, um, so now I am here and I'm looking at these bottles. So I might as well just show you. Um, I have this first bottle. It has some advertising on it. Oh, yes, you can see it. There you go. Hi, friends. Hello, everybody. Hi, Carmen. So um, anyway, I have this bottle first. And then I had this bottle, which was probably the one that's frustrated me the most um, because it had the cork in it. And I love the original cork, but at the same time, it stuck up a little bit, so it really hindered what I did with the top. And if you follow me and see me make bottles before, hi, Penny, hi, Marilyn, hi, you guys. Uh, you know that the top kind of sets the tone for my eye anyway for the project. So um, I had some other options for this, but what I ended up doing for this bottle top was just take a knob and I screwed the screw, if you can see, I, uh, yeah, there you can see the screw right in there. Um, certain way that I hold the light, I screwed it right in. I'm not sure I got it 100% straight, but I think it, I think it's straight. Anyway, there's a screw in there. You can see it sticking out. Uh, anyway, so that, so um, I was a little, you know, here's the thing. I was going to call her, it's for a, it's for a follower. And I was going to call her and say, can I take this cork out? But I was afraid it's really, I tried to wiggle it a little bit. It's really like in there. And I was afraid I would push it in the bottle and I didn't want that. So I went ahead and left it and just worked with it. And then the other one is more about the things that I, um, as I, you know, I added a ton of things for the website. Like I've been really working hard on the website. And so I found this little bundle um, I was kind of, you know, I love to make, I love to put things on there for you guys to use for your projects because sometimes they're hard to find. So I had this little painted, um, someone had painted this keyhole and then this, it's just an old chain, but it has the number 11, on, no, 11 is not significant to me, but I loved that it was old and chippy. And so for me, I just saw a bottle project and so I put all these three things together and this is just a smaller bottle, so I'm thinking, um, yeah, that kind of sets the tone. So like I say, usually the top is the tone setter, but in this case, I love that little chain and the painted, so anyway, I'm all over the place because my brain is all over the place because, you know, I'm a creative and that's what happens when you get too many options. It's like, oh, it's like a candy store. Can we go to a candy store? It's like, oh my gosh, I want, I want it all. It's hard to pick just one thing. Um, yeah, that's what it's like. The ice cream store, the hundred flavors of ice cream. Forget it, right? Uh, so, okay. So I think I'm going to do that one on there. I got to remember what I came up with. I think I'm going to do... This one on here, I've been messing, I've been messing, messing. So, okay, so, <clears throat> this, so I'm gonna show you all of them, whether we get through all of them. Hi, Deborah. hi, you guys. I'm sorry I'm missing some of you. It's been a long time since I've been here, so I gotta get myself um, back in gear. Um, uh, so I found this really pretty, I love when I do bottles with really thin lace. Um, I don't know, I tend to like that the best. And let me see which side is, Oh yeah, this is the back side. So I have a couple, so I have this piece of lace and you can see how thin and fine it is, but yet all of these little bumps are raised. If you, yeah, you can tell. So I was thinking since this one has advertising on it, I don't wanna do like, um, 
uh, like super set, like sticky, stick it down tight. I kind of think I want to um, give it a little, um, I don't know, like give it almost like a jacket. See, this one doesn't lay very well. This is more for down all the way tight. So I'm not crazy for that. Move you down a little bit more. Uh, I'm not crazy for that. So I love this lace, but I don't think it's going to work on this one. So yeah, I, I should have, I've already done this. <laughs> without you but now I'm doing it again with you where's my glasses I can't see a darn thing you all know that too um so let's see here uh okay so this is the underneath side so this was a collar at one time an old collar you can see the seam for the collar is right there and so I was just looking for the back side of it so it would lay like this so um, I think, I think because of the height of this bottle, I'm going to use this piece and because of the advertising, I'm not going to stick it tight. I'm going to make it like a jacket for this. Okay. Yes. It looks like a skirt. And I think I love, like I was thinking about trimming it up to um, fit the bottle and maybe not be so full, but you know what? I kind of think that I like it like that. So this, so I'm going to figure out how I'm going to adhere this. And this is going to be this one, just exactly like that, almost like a dress. Okay. Um, so that's that. And then the top, I made this top. If you, well, I didn't make it. I, what did I do? I put that shellac on it. If you guys remember a while back, I was shellacking all the wood things that I bought. I told you I was going to use this for a bottle because this bottle has such a wide mouth. Anything I put in there just fell in. <laughs> it was just too, too, way too big. Swallowed it up. So this fits really nice. So this is going to be the top. And I turned it to where the hole would show, just for another little thing. Um, some of you probably think that's like backwards, like there's without the hole. But the hole just, to me, adds another, not texture, but another draw to the eye, I guess the word would be. So... Um, uh, let me see. So the first thing that I want to do, you can't see where that is because the bottle's so dark, but I want to cover up this neck because you saw that kind of jacket is only going to come up to here. So, uh, and I'm not going to fight. Usually I put the bottle top in, like I said, it usually sets the tone for it. But in this case, it's just, oh shoot, <laughs> oh shoot. I forgot to plug in my, <laughs> I unplugged it. Oh, it won't take long. Um, I unplugged it for, from this morning in my group because I knew it was going to be a minute. I'm thinking about doing a sale later tonight. Oh, oh, oh. we'll see. I'm <laughs> thinking about it. If not, I'll set it up tonight and we'll get it ready for tomorrow. But I kind of wanted to make something. You know, you get a free day. Um, this job we went to, it was the paint job for today was a small, like a tiny house. It's called a tiny house in the woods, um, back up a long lane. And uh, this girl, oh gosh, she's like my daughter's age, um, put a little tiny house in the backyard for her dad to live. And it's super cool. Anyway, I mean, it's low ceiling and they did wood on the ceilings. And um, I, I showed you when we did the first half of the tiny house, um, it was where we did the brick wallpaper. If you guys saw that, uh, I might have just TikToked it. I'm not sure. But anyway, oh look, see, I'm warm already. That didn't hurt a thing. I may not be warm enough to do all that. Anyway, um, yeah. So the girls didn't need me today. So I kind of got, I kind of got a free day. <laughs> we all, oh yeah, I need to take it up higher. Okay, hang on a minute. Um, we all, so I kind of got a free day. So I'm like, Oh, <laughs> like, that's why I'm like, I didn't even know what to do with myself. Cause I have a free day. <laughs> so there you go. But yeah, they just sent pictures that turned out really cute. I think I could live in a tiny house. I mean, it would be the same thing as a camper. So I, I stopped and moved this on up. I want it clearer to the top. Maybe let a little tiny bit of that bottle show, but not a lot. Just a tiny little bit. Oops. Okay. And then I'm pulling it a little bit tight. And I'm just going to tack down every now and again 
right over top of the muslin shreds, but I am using muslin shred. I should let you know that, um, which is just where you just tear muslin. And um, it's what I did the curtains with. It's what I did these, you know, my chairs. You can see, I wrapped, I never liked the chairs that much, and they're outdated to me. And you know, Randy, there's nothing wrong with the table. So we've had it for 30, 32 years, I think. <laughs> so I started painting it and hiding it and all that. <laughs> okay, bless his heart, right? I know, <laughs> I know, poor fella. <laughs> I love change and he doesn't. So <laughs> we should have double checked that feature before we <laughs> said I do. <laughs> but we compromise. We you know, we do a pretty good job of compromise, I think. <laughs> so okay. So now I've covered this with muslin shred. So let me show you when I say muslin shred. Muslin, it, I don't have very big pieces of it. It's just like a linen, if if you can see, it's back, it's at Hobby Lobby, back with the, um, hi Catherine, or Kathy, hi Kathy, I'm sorry, I'm like, there you go, hi Kathy Collin, nice, I'm glad you caught me too, um, I'm not doing very good with the comments here, I'm sorry you guys, I'm sorry, I, I'm hoping everyone's just saying hi, there's my mom, we have been in an intense game of words with friends, my mom and I. Yes, a lingerie pin would be very pretty. I have a little bag of them. I think I have about six of them. Um, yeah, it did look like a ballet skirt. Okay, let's keep, I'm going to keep on going so I don't lose you. Anyway, this is back, um, it could be called curtain liner. Uh, it, it's not a very good curtain liner unless you get a more expensive grade. I usually get um, like $2.99 a yard if that gives you any, oh, these glasses are bad, aren't they? Uh, I think those are the same way. They're my, they're my reading. But yeah, so mom and I, I beat her, like, she'll go on a streak, and then I'll go on a streak, winning streaks, you know, and I've been on a big winning streak, and now, I, my letters have been crap, crap, like, all vowels and junk, so she's beating me, so she texts me a little bit, and goes, did you see I'm winning? <laughs> yes, mom, I see, I see you're winning, there, those are better, <laughs> I see you're winning, so, okay. So anyway, the muslin shreds, get a yard or two. I mean, you'll use them all the time. If you follow me, I'll give you all sorts of ideas what to do with them. It's what I used on my curtains, you know, um, yeah. So, and then you just start a little, uh, a little snippet. You just start, you know, and you just go all the way across your piece and then you rip it. And you can cut the whole thing, but if you rip it, see how the little hairy, pieces that you get like the little hairs on the sides and it just gives it a little more texture which I'm all I love texture so yeah it makes it more interesting okay so let's see here <laughs> how many times have I checked this thing oh, oh yeah that's a good sign for sure okay so let's get this tacked on so that's the back the strings off of here Okay, and I want to find the center of the back, which is going to be right about there, and I'm just going to get that tacked on for now. This is such a crazy piece. I mean, look at it. It's such a raggedy looking piece, and it's maybe a little bit large for the bottle, maybe, but yet I think it's good. It's a big bottle. I don't usually do big, big bottles. Um, I do have some bottles that are done on the website. You're welcome to check those out for inspiration to see some more. If you've never seen a uh, seen me do a bottle, or you can go to YouTube and type in a bottle and see what you can find there because I've done a ton of bottles uh, over the years. Of course, that would help with my watch time over on YouTube. Yeah, I've had people say that they've been watching YouTube and my number isn't changing, so I don't understand uh, what's going on there. I have to have 5,000 watch minutes for this year and I'm only halfway there. So I need my mom to turn on YouTube on the TV and just let me run. <laughs> I was over there the other day 
<laughs> and she turned on her TV and she had, like I was giant. I was like the size of her TV. I don't know. I'm like, holy cow. <laughs> Shut that off. That was, oh my gosh. And she says, well, that's how I watch you. <laughs> oh man. Uh, oh, look, you guys. Look without pulling it tight. That's kind of okay too. Or do I need to pull it tight? I don't, but that really shows that. Hmm, looking at it. Yeah, that kind of, yeah, and it's just off. Like it's it's not me, it's this. Oh, I kind of think I might try it like that. I love it. I think she's gonna love it. Um let me see here. I mean, I, I don't like to hide it from you, but let me just see what's like I was looking, maybe I could loosely drape it and pin. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna hang my stuff off first. So I was thinking dark brown. Um, of course, I have all kinds of rusty dark brown things, but what stuck out to me, you're gonna laugh, is these two rusty springs. And one of them is bent, and I have tried like crazy to bend it back, and I can't, so I'm gonna go with it, because it kind of makes it even more interesting. So you can't see it there. I'll put it up against my face. So like that, and it, the bend in it kind of makes it interesting, I think. So I'm going to leave that. So what, um, I hate leaving those on. They look so bad. Um, let's see. So what I was thinking is maybe we'll just try, I don't have a whole lot of shreds here going. There's my longest one. So let me, so here's another tip. You're, if you start shredding your muslin, you're going to get strings like this and it's going to drive you insane. I sit and watch TV when Randy's not there. <laughs> I snip them and then I'm ripping, ripping and I got strings everywhere. So I started ripping them about an inch, making them about an inch, make it bigger than what I want. You really, they're really nice when they're super tiny, like when they're really tiny, uh, even tinier than that. So what I found is do the bigger pieces, even two inches, and then when you're crafting, you can do a couple of rips here or there, and it's not, it's not a big deal. Like, you don't mind that. I don't mind pulling the strings off of a little piece like that. You just go like that, look how many you get. And here's another tip. I have a little baggie of these strings that I kept. And on the website, if you want to see it, there is a bottle on wood. Um, I also started an Etsy. I don't know how you find it. It's just Tammy Loves Vintage. And I moved that one over there as well. Um, but I took these strings. I don't know that I can get enough. And we used, we were hanging, uh, we used an old piece of wood. Julie was here. We were crafting and trying to make up something new that we had seen at an antique show. And so I had a whole lot of these strings, way more than this. But anyway, then we used roofing nails, the big headed nails on either side. And that is what we held the bottle. Of course, we glued it down. But it looks like the string you know, this big wad of string and it's tacked around the nails. Super cute. Anyway, um, just give you ideas, right? So it was just different, you know, try to be different. Gosh, with all the crafty people, everyone's so awesome. It's getting hard to be different. That's for sure. Getting harder. So let me see. I don't know that I can split this again, but I'm going to try because I've got a couple of tiny holes. I got one thing at least. Well, I don't know if I can. Nope, I can't. It's too small. You can see. You can only get it. So you're going to like take it so far. Okay, so we're going to go with this like it is. Um, let's get these springs on here. Okay, so there's one. Let me tie them down separately. How does that go? Like that. Um, maybe I do. I'm going to tie them separately so that they don't hang like an old TV antenna, you know. <laughs> I want them to hang down straight. And I don't know how they'll hang together. So, all right. There's one. I'm going to go ahead and double knot it. Although with muslin, it rarely comes undone. But I'm going to go ahead and knot it again. When I do my curtains, when I did these chairs, I done double knot. The backs of the chairs are what looks so good if you've never seen them. Like, here's the front of the chair, and then when you turn the chair around, that's where it looks really cute. It's all like 
you know, of course it's been done for years, but um, I just tied, I just sat and wrapped and tied and that's all muslin shred. So I think <laughs> that's something different, uh, you know. I, I know I need a new table, but at the same time, with our kids living so far away, we don't know for sure how long we're gonna stick around here. And what if we get a place that doesn't have a dining room? I hate to, I mean, of course, table that I want, it's very expensive. Um, there's a place up in Amish country. She has the best tables every time I go in there, like the best tables, um, Cottonwood Shanty it's called. And I love her lamp, her chandeliers, her table. I just love everything she has. So, um, yeah, and they're not, they're not super, super duper cheap either. But, oh gosh, I love them. And obviously I keep them. It will be my last table I pick for the rest of my life. So, um, you know, you might as well get one you're going to love. But I'm not getting a table. I am going to... Here's, here's another thing that's happening in my world. So the girls in my group have seen it. They know I'm doing this, but um, it seems like everybody's crafting like from their guest bedroom. And my guest bedroom is my closet. <laughs> Since my daughter moved out and kind of made it my closet. There you go, now you can see. And um, sorry I had that turned for me. I always turn it for you guys. I'm rusty, I'm rusty. Anyway, um, so, and I've had all my crafting supplies up there. So every time I want to come down here and craft, I got to run up and grab stuff. I got to run to the basement, whatever. So I kind of thought about just trying to make that room my crafting room. So I have filled it, literally filled it. And I, I'm trying to find my way. I'm trying to get, you know, get that crafting feeling in there. So... Um, I'll be going live up there, but I had a couple of projects laid out here. Um, oh, look, I got a skinny one to rip. Um, had a couple of projects laid out here. So I'm going to finish these last couple and then I'm going up there. We're going to give it a try uh, and see if I can. I kind of liked it when I was up there, actually. Um, it was kind of good. And Randy was down here and he was watching TV and he didn't have to worry about how loud it was or whatever. <laughs> Not that it's extra loud, but I mean, he just didn't, it just wasn't even, and he always shuts it off. Like, oh, I'll shut it off or I'll turn it down. No, and I feel like he's listening to me and that's awkward. <laughs> so I don't want to bother him. He doesn't want to bother me. So I think it'll be nice up there. I just have to make sure I can feel creative up there, you know? So that was a little brass tag. I have some brass tags. It's a number tag. This one is the number 12. It was backwards for you, but it's the number 12. Um, not that that really matters, but um, that would look good hanging on there. And then maybe instead of knotting this, since this will be all that you're gonna see on the back, maybe I wanna put just a bit of a bow. Okay, so here's where we are now. I just have a couple of springs. I really am letting the, the lace do the talking on this one. And then there is the back. Um, I think what I want to do, I didn't even need that glue gun, not much. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do here is add just a little tiny bit of buttons on this, um, just, just to have something interesting on the back side in case it ends up sitting, you know, on a, on a table that you can see from behind. So let's just throw some random buttons on here. Um, oops, that's upside down. These are just the white crafting buttons. Well, they're not crafting, they're regular buttons, but I use them for crafting. Got a ton of them on the website, you guys are looking. You love it? Oh, thank you, Terry. Good. I this was a little. I've had this bottle for a good two or three weeks. Just the top has really been. I've just been unsure about the top, but I think I think it's gonna be good. So there, just a little tiny bit of button. See that? Just a tiny little touch, but it's something on the back side besides the bow there. 
And then I did think about it since I'm the, so I wasn't sure if I was going to leave it opened or closed or how I was going to go, but I kind of, I'm kind of liking this. So I have this, um, brass keyhole, um, that I think I'm going to adhere here, but I want to put, of course, I never like a, a hole without putting something in the hole, right? So let's stick this in here. Oh, if you guys saw how many projects I have. I have got to stop watching people. <laughs> Are you guys the same way? I mean it. I watch people like, oh my gosh, I want to make that. <laughs> Run out and I get whatever, whatever I have to get to make that. And then I do the next thing. And I, plus my own things that I'm like, oh, I found this. I found that. Oh, I, I could do this. With me. Oh my gosh. I have a table, not quite as big as this dining room table upstairs where my ironing board used to be. Um, and it is full of stuff to make. And I haven't made a darn thing yet. So look out. I'm going to be on here a lot. <laughs> oh. The one thing I'm the most nervous about, of course, the other day, um, I've been, I've been watching Debbie Rigg. I, I watch everybody, but anyway, she made... Uh, the cutest Marilyn Monroe shirt that she was wearing. And so I, of course, I texted her and told her I was going to, she inspired me. Let's see if I can get this a little bit skinnier. I hope so, but I doubt it. Mm -mm. That's a perfect length, too. It's just a little beefier than the other one. Oh, well. Um, anyway, so I made it, and oh, I love it so much. So then the other thing that she's inspired me is these boots. She found these boots at, oh. Uh, Big Lots. So I go to Big Lots and they had they had some. So I got some. I've got them all base coated and ready to go. But she, if you know her, she's a checker. All these girls are doing black and white checks, right? And and um, I mean the only one I ever knew that did black and white checks checks was Tracy's Fancy. I always loved all of her. She's very inspired by um, oh, what is it? Who's the hourglass? Alice in Wonderland girl. And um, she does furniture and stuff. So she does big time checks. And uh, I've tried them a couple of times and I am not very good at it. There is a skill to it. <laughs> so, but I bought the brushes that they recommended and all that stuff. So we'll see, we'll see. But that's one of the projects. I won't do that with you guys because it'll take me a, oh my gosh, it'll take me days to do. That's one I'd love to get done since it's spring and we're thinking getting this stuff out, right? So I'm switching glues if you guys caught that. I'm adhering metal to glass and that is not a very good hot glue combo. Then I'm just gonna put the hot glue where the fabric is. Although the hot glue isn't gonna grab to the glass great, it may grab just enough, just enough to hold it for me until the other uh, glue tacks up. So I think I'm gonna wait where I just blocked it. I'm gonna wait and as soon as it's dry, I'll chip it right off, okay? I'm not gonna start rubbing it now because it's just gonna smear and make a mess. So just know that this glob right down here will be gone, <laughs> but I'm gonna wait. That is an experienced crafter to know to wait. Um, yeah, it's like when you drip paint on the carpet on accident, you don't start rubbing it because you take a tiny little dot and you turn it into a quarter or bigger. You wait till it's dry and then you go back in and just snip it off if it's a sh It depends on the carpet, but most carpets you can do that. Um, yeah, so there's that. Not that I ever have spilled a drop of paint, ever. It happened, it happened. It's time to time. Be sure to try not to. Okay, so the hot glue will adhere to the wood but I don't think that the um, glass will so much. Although it's such a cool topper. Mm. And you know, I use them in my, whenever I find those um, barrel tops. This is what, like in my kitchen, right around the corner here, those of you that follow me know I have the two of them stacked. This is like what you would stick in that hole. A lot of times they don't have this part. I'm trying to decide how I'm going to adhere it. Um, you know, I think I'm just going to go with the hot glue, and it's because I don't 
know that it needs to be permanent. I'll just have to tell her not to pick it up um, by the top. And if she does, I can just re-glue it back down. So it's, it's an antique wood and a hard to find thing. I'm doing that because then it might be something savable. Maybe someday she'll find a top that she likes better. And boy, if you E6000 it, it'd still take off a bowl, but not as easy. Okay, now I should wipe her nose wet. See, I just told you not to do that down low and then I did it right there. <laughs> I'll clean that up later, get my knife out. Okay, so, oh, it's so cute. It's the, there. See that? Look, it just popped right off. It's the hot glue, not the E6000. If you just use E6000, you might as well wipe it up right then because it'll come right off. But it was the hot glue. You know, when you smear hot glue, it like gets cloudy and it doesn't be very good. Um, what exactly is the topper? It is a, a, a spout, like for a barrel, um, and it spins. Like you can, you can turn it off and on. Now, I don't know. Uh, see, there's a hole here. And I don't, so this would be um, where it would come out. This is probably the breather. Inside is probably a flap. I don't know. I don't know how authentic. I don't know. Um, but I can, uh, see, I don't have, see, I have three. I have three of these. One's in the basement. Uh, here, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Hang on a minute. I always take you guys for a ride, don't I? So right here, see, this is like a, a barrel cap and so right here in the hole is where that would have gone now this is a brass an old brass um, beer tap and then there's a faucet that I stuck in that one but originally it would have had one of those wooden uh, wooden spouts I just turned it around to be um, or not turn it around I just put in something else to make it more interesting I guess a little different I don't know so okay <clears throat> so that's that's what that is so, okay, I think we're gonna call this one done. See how you can see, and see how the little bits of ribbon where the hole, where the nail holes or the screw holes were, and then we've added springs, and then the little number 12 brass tag, and then the wood top. So it's just an interesting little thing that you would sit in your decor. So um, I've got two more to go if you guys wanna, if you want me to stick around. Um, oh, I've got stars. Is that 500? Let me see. Oh my gosh. Whoop. Someone sent me five. I've got 500 stars. Who did that? I don't even know. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for the stars. It's been a long time since I got a star. Thank you. Shoot. And I made little stars to hold up if I ever got a star and they're upstairs in the new room. It's not a new room. Yes, do another one. Okay, all right. So let's get this one. This is the one, my my one that's kind of got me a little fro-shizzled. No keys, Terry. I know, but I don't think it needs a key. I put a keyhole. I could totally lay a key like across here, um, but the old, I only have two keys, and I they're too big. I I brought this one down. The gas. Um, it would it would be like to shut gas off at a fireplace and then I have this old folding key and these are kind of I don't know, they're kind of cool, a little extra um, more than I don't and the other key that the other dark key that I had earlier Terry's in my group so the other key that I had earlier that heavy one what the heck did I do with that did I oh I think I took it upstairs already yeah I took I took a bunch of stuff upstairs yeah I've already it's put away <laughs> so okay here we go. Let's do another one. You love it. You love the idea. Yay. Okay. Well, good. I'm glad I'm inspiring you guys. So another tip, when you get your bottles, if you want them super clean inside, someone here, and I forget who it was, but some, one of my followers told me to put the, um, like effort like the dent, uh, denture cleaner tablets in this. And a lot of times your bottle will come clean. Uh, Oh, what, what, Alma? Oh, and Lane, thank you for helping Alma. You guys don't have to send stars. That is just so sweet, and I know it's confusing. Um, 
Oh, hang a whole, oh yes. I need a guy, yes, a, a guy and a girl. Oh yeah, that would be really cute to dangle just a little key, but the hole is not open in the back side. But I could still tie it off somehow. But I love that idea, I may do that. I have a ton of key, I don't have any keys down here with me. Is it now? Oh, hey, I do have two keys in this one. I could just steal one. Hang on. Let's take this one over the top, right? We'll just take it right up and over the top. Hang on, little friend. Anyway, put Effordent tablet. I don't know. Try one. That's not enough. Try two. I don't know. I don't remember if they even told me how many. Use one of those things. Look how cute. I do have a little tiny key. It's adorbs. Totally adorable. And rather than using the hole, how about it'll hold it tight to the bottle. Let's see what that will do. Yeah, poo. Hang on. <laughs> oh, it's so stressful when you have people watching you. Like I could sit here all afternoon and fight with this key, but when you have people, it would feel like you have to hurry. Okay, let's see here. No pressure, right? <laughs> I, I gotta turn around and see where I want it. Yeah. Okay, I'm not, oh, do I wanna mess with the bow? Oh, golly, I don't know. Let me try, I'll try a couple times. I'm gonna give it two whirls can't get it then we're not doing it I'll just tie it in a knot and cut it okay so there's that you bum fingernails they gotta go they gotta go ah no okay that was one try all right let's try one more time hang on a minute let me just get a bigger piece of stuff piece of okay I mean I want it to be little Okay, this now now I'm gonna be faster. Mm -mm, I don't like it. Okay, here let me use. I'm gonna switch to seam binding. Okay, because it's more dainty. Oh, here's the end. Here's the end. Sorry. <laughs> oh my weather! It's snowing. I pulled the curtain shut. I don't even want to see it. <laughs> I did. I swung them shut in this room so when I look out there I can't even see it. But I saw it snowing. Crazy. I'm like ready to plant my garden. Well, I don't have a garden. <laughs> I've never had a garden in my life. Not my own. But I have done a lot of uh, porch container gardening and so for my birthday my birthday is friday so my husband bought me i keep asking him to make me this the um raised bed raised beds and um like make me a planter or something because my track record's pretty good with tomatoes and peppers in my pots so anyway um, he found, or we found, a couple of black ones, just plastic black, at Sam's Club. So he bought me two of them. So I'm going to have a little garden. <laughs> it's not a real garden. I, uh, my friend Julie, her husband, said he'd come over and till up some dirt, but I, I'm a little intimidated by thinking about doing that. That's like a real garden. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So that could be a total disaster. So we're just gonna do this for now. Randy travels a lot, so it would be on me. Be careful what you wish for, right? Because I could end up with a, a mess. So okay, I just tacked. I just tacked it at, up here at the top. You can still see the little hole, and there's our little key hanging from the side. So how cute! That just added an even another little thing. So okay, now you're really done. You were done. Now you're really, really done. Good idea, you guys, thank you. Um, your birthday's Friday also. Awesome, Elaine, how fun is that? So this bottle is the one that had the cork embedded in it and it was in there tight. And um, so I just screwed a knob down in. Um, I was kind of messing with it during my group we were talking at the end and that's what I opted to do. So 
um, I can't clean it. So, um, it's consistently inconsistent with yuck. So, and it's brown. So I'm kind of going with that browner theme, I guess. Um, and the first thing that I need to do is again, cover this, but I decided what happened to my lace. That one goes to that. What I just had it here. Oh, there it is. So I found this piece, which I started to show you earlier, and it's such a good match for the top. See, so I'm going to go with this. And I think I'm going, oh, and oh my gosh, you guys couldn't see anything I just did, could you? I'm, oh, probably lost half of you. I'm, so, oh, what an idiot. I'm sorry. Oh, oh man. I stink at this. I'm surprised anybody even watches me. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, can't see. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to cut the, oh, I hate, it makes you sad when you cut old lace, right? But, and I, and it's going to be tight. So I'm going to have a little bit of give here. So I'm just going to whack it first. See how you get, like I do something like this and I'm like, that's even kind of cute to leave a little tail. I've done, I've done, I've done it all. I've done so many bottles. That's even kind of cute, um, you know, that kind of look, even kind of cute, but I'm just going to tie it, I'm just going to make it straight. Okay. Oh, there, done. Pain is over. Okay, so I have uh, an old sign from my shop, and I just turn it over, and I'm going to lay this down here. And let's see here. Well, that'll be underneath the ah, it strings. Um, where's my, oh, here's my stuff. Okay, so I have Super 77, it's called, um, by 3M. It is just a multi-purpose adhesive. If you have stencil spray, like old, I have my old-time stencil spray, I still use that too. I just saw this first. Um, Super 77 just has a fabulous grip to it. And so what I'm going to, I've sprayed so much Super 77, this board's got it all over. Um, so I'm just going to mist, mist that with Super 77, okay, and then I'm going to peel it off. Then if you let it sit for just a couple minutes, because right at first it's kind of wet. So I like to let it sit for a, just a minute, a few seconds. It's already, I can already feel it stickier. And see how it's sticky? Like, can you see it's picking up? So that's all that I use when I put it on a bottle. That's all that I, that's all. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to make it lay flat. That's all the stick I use, okay? So, so this is gonna be the front of the bottle. And I'm going to just lay the bottle right down there on it. And then I'm gonna pull it around from this side. I wanna keep, I'm more worried about the bottom than the top, okay? Top's gonna to do what the top's gonna to do. And we'll, we'll deal with that later. Okay, then I'm going to wrap this around here. And then I probably need to clean up my, my lines not very straight. So let's see if we can't fix that up just a little bit better. All right. So that's better. Okay, then you just press it down. Press it down, work the wrinkles out. I love this textured, uh, you see how raised that fabric is? 
it's a really cool stitch, whatever it is. I don't know, but I love it. Okay, so now we have the top, and it's like, what do you do with this mess? I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to gather it up here, okay? Just getting, getting it up here around the top. And then you'll see, this is why I wrap the top last. The last one, um, I had that line to go with, so I wrapped the top first um, because I wanted the edge of this to be on top. And in this case, I don't, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and I had laid this out, but I'm not crazy. It's kind of got a goldish tint to it. So I think I'm gonna go with the muslin again. Now this piece is tea stained, so that's something we did not talk about, is that once you get your, you can either do it as a full sheet of muslin or you can get your strips done and then get them wet. And I just drizzled tea on this one, uh, uh, not on this piece, like on a whole big piece of before I cut it and then let it dry, but so you can see the spots. So that's kind of cool too, or you can just totally emerge it in the tea, and if you do that, you get this. So let me give you all three looks, and if you ha have more questions about the muslin, go to my YouTube and type in muslin shreds, and I know I've talked about muslin a lot. So this is the plain, this is the full tea stain, and this is the spotty. So that's, and I usually keep a little bit of each to craft with, okay? So I'm going to start again at the back of my bottle. I'm just gonna put a little bit here. And I'm gonna spread it out and I'm gonna dip it, stick it to that and I'm gonna wrap it. And you put just a little bit just to kind of hold it in place. Keep wrapping here. And then we're gonna aim down. Just a little bit. I better put another little spot here. And all I'm doing is finishing the edge of that piece of lace that wasn't in great, great shape. So there's a big piece of it there. Me, I'm going to stick some glue here to hold it all down. Okay. Oh, I know what else I have upstairs. So, uh, oh, what's that? I can't think of the name of the place. Oh, shoot. Well, anyway, Kathy Di Domenico was inspired by somebody. I can't remember who it was. Shoot. Anyway. Uh, and she made bottles that are completely different than these that, um, well, the lady that she gets it from, I can, I can picture her name, but I can't think of what it is. Uh, is it Bella? Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, she says who it is. Um, anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, they're really cool and I want to make one and the tops are huge. They're not antique, but they're huge. So I was kind of, I kind of want to make one of those too. But so let me show you how this finished out just so you can see. Um, but yeah, she taught you how to, she said they, they're, her, this lady's bottles, whoever the woman is, sells them. They're like $300 and they really are. <laughs> so they, her and a friend years ago bought one and dissected it to learn how to make them and now they make them. So, cause the other lady wouldn't give up her secrets. So anyway, um, yeah, so now we all know how to make them. So I want to make one of those. And my so my stepdad, he had um, whiskey bottles or tequila or whatever they are. I don't even know. And he's been saving bottles for me. So that's pretty cool. So I've got some giant bottles and some tops that I found on Amazon. They're just like a lightweight sort of plaster mold feeling. I don't know what they are. But anyway, got those. So, okay. What I'm thinking, I was gonna run buttons down the back, but because my overlap here is a little wonky and not super uh, super down the middle, see I'm kind of tending to go off a little bit. <laughs> you can hide anything. We're gonna hide that, because that's not great. That's not prideful. So this is the back, but it will be. So I have a bag of old coins. Whenever I am, some of them are tokens, some of them are from other countries. This is a peso. Uh, this says no cash value. It's some kind of a token, I would say. Um, oh, this one's really pretty. Look at that one. I don't know what it is. Republic of France. Oh, it's a franc. It's a franc. A franc. It's a 10. 
F-R-A-N-C-S, right? Wouldn't that be French? Fran oh, look, and there's a rooster on it. How cool. Can you see that? I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see that. And then there's the front. That's a really cool one. Here's one with a ship on it. This one, oh, this one's really heavy. This one says $100. Uh, it looks, the Mexico, Mexico, this is Mexican. That's super heavy. Here's one. Oh, I could just sit and look at these all day. We won't do that. I don't know what the heck that is. That is really different. But I like the brownness of it. Or my, oh, it's 1878. I don't know what that is. But that one's going on there because of the dark brown. And I think this Frank needs to go on there too because of the dark brown. This one, yeah, I have no clue what that is, but that's going on there too. Again, because of the dark brown. This one is nothing. It's, I don't even know what that is. It's just a hunk of something. Uh, let's see, here's a, here's a Malibu money. That's a silly one. Oh, Malibu castles and showboat. I don't know that I want to go clear down in here though, because that looks good. Do I need, here, maybe I'll put this one and then one more right there. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and that's going to kind of cover the seams, but the seam gets really good right here, so I'm not doing anything right there. But I will, oh, it's got an ever so tiny hole in it. I would never get anything through that. Let's see, does the end of this go? Like, oh gosh, that's gonna be a tough one to poke through. Let me just try, let me just try. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. But I'm just gonna try. Can't get any skinnier than this stuff. Any thinner. Oh, hey. This one go. That's an awful skinny little hole. I don't think it's going to go. Well, we tried. I could stick something on top of it. So I'm going to opt for this side up because it has the most texture. Um, here's what it looks like. It's just a flat piece of nothing. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to leave the most textured side up. Uh, again, with it being metal, again, you could E6000 it, if you wanted to. I'm just gonna hot glue. Because it's holding on to fabric, it should be okay. It's still gonna be take offable if you wanted to. You just pop it off. And it, you could just pop it off right off of the coin and the coin will not be hurt in any way. Kind of trying to go around the bumpy part of the fabric. Do the best I can here. I need to put some of these coins on the website. I have plenty. I should put some of these on there for you guys too. I will do that. They'll go under antiques if you want to watch. Um, I'm not going to do that to Day, but I'll lay it upstairs on the table as a to-do thing. We've got some, I was going to do the top of this, that brown bottle with a with an oil can. I bought three of them to see which one looked best. And I didn't love either any of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on too. So soon, probably tomorrow, I'll do that. So, because I do think I want to lay some stuff out and do just a small sale. So there's the coins. Yay! Thanks for the thanks for the heart, you guys. So that's the back of it. And I spaced see that big clump, so I couldn't do that. And then I kind of made this turn. It's a little, see that one? This one's sticking out just a little bit, but I think it's okay. So there you go. So that's the back of the bottle done. Now we've got to do the front of the bottle. Oh, she's going to love this. She's gonna love it. And I love the two that you can see the original cork um, just a little bit. Uh, in person, you can really see it. I don't know if you can tell too much there, but you can really see it in person. So let's get these coins out. I 
to have to use it. I, from Lange, I bought one of those um, hair things that, like a wand that you wear a glove with. So yeah, my fingers didn't burn, but I hit my wrist. <laughs> Such a clumsy. Uh, yeah, I hit my wrist. <laughs> so there's that. So if you notice my big ouchy, <laughs> that's it. That's what I did. What an idiot. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Barb. Okay. So I've used bits and pieces off of this chain already, but I thought it might go with the brown. The brown's off a little bit, but I don't know. So we'll see. That's an option. I'm just going to just, I just have to figure out what I'm doing because I didn't really know what I was doing here with this one. Um, did I even bring anything really to do with it? <laughs> Not really. Just the coins. Well, shoot. What was I, well, that for? I don't even know. Um, maybe we'll hang one of these awesome, oh yeah, maybe I'll just keep it simple, or this, which is better, maybe she would like this folding key better, pearls, yes, but they're upstairs, yeah, that would be really pretty too, oh, nope, I don't have any down here though, uh, I used to have some stuff in the drawer behind me, but I um, I got rid of that and took it all upstairs. So now I don't have it down here. Uh, okay, let's just try this and see what we get. Cause I got a oh that's probably not a good one. I got another idea maybe. Huh? I thought I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff, but you know all I really grabbed was rhinestone stuff, which is fine. Be able to stick some rhinestone stuff on here. Too low. Here. Okay. This is just tatting. This is handmade. Uh, it's called tatting and it's just tiny um, lace vintage good stuff um, you guys know I usually put some in the paper packs sometimes most of the time I have some in the paper in the $15 paper packs not always uh, in the lace bundles I try and put all different sizes in uh okay so there's that much and i kind of i kind of like that it's got um it kind of matches the back i like the darkness of it so the other thing i had this out here for my other project earlier is this um doorknob plate a backer plate for doorknob so I have that. Oh, I see hearts. So you kind of like that? Okay. Well, that's very easy. See, I'd sit here all day and try to figure out what's best. So, okay. But when I don't have much to play with, that changes things a little bit. Okay. So there's that. I don't want two keys. I do have this little pin and it's nice too. Although, oh, the pin might be good inside of the plate. I've got to do something inside the plate. Um, so there would be that. And I'll do something here. I don't know what. Maybe a button. I'm not sure. Uh, interesting. It's interesting. And that's what I go for. And there's that. Okay, the back. Okay, so yeah, I think it's a go. It's a go. I think it's a go for. I gotta flip that around. Those folding keys are crazy cool. Um, they get a little pricey, but... Sometimes, a good deal. Okay, so instead of tying this, because this lace is very hard to tie because it's kind of thick and it's got, you know, different, it's not just straight across. So I think I'm just going to tack the lace itself down. Okay, so I'm gonna put a dot, I'm sorry, you guys can't see. I'm just gonna put a dot here where it's touching, um, right there, okay. Hold that until it tacks up, and then I'm just gonna put another 
Oh, am I? Yeah, I'll put another little piece, little strip back here just to hold it, kind of help hold it. And then I'm gonna wrap it around here, right at the edge of the, um, where the where the muslin shred meets the bottle. And then I'm gonna kind of treat it like going over the shoulder, like a scarf, you know, how you throw your scarf over your shoulder sometimes. Okay, we're gonna throw it over the shoulder and then we're going to let it hang hang down a bit. Okay, be cute with the key hanging off of that, but I need I need my key for the other box. Let's see what else do I have that I could hang off of that. Let's see here. I could do that. I could do that. What's this? Oh, I forgot about those. I did get some rusty pins. Oh, looky here. I did bring some stuff. Yay me, I did, look. I brought this really pretty old buttonhole, or buttonhole, old um, keyhole. How cute, how cute is that? That's, I like that better. Yay me, I like that so much better. Okay, good, I didn't wanna just put anything on there. That's gonna go by the wayside. This is going on for sure. I wonder if I can, ooh. Be able to bend it just a snap, just so it kind of hugs the bottle a little better. Ooh, can I? I don't want to break it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, yay, 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 yay. Okay, let's do that and that. And we're gonna stick it right there. You can see how much time it takes to make one of these bottles. And I already had like all of the thinking part pretty much done for you uh, before you guys got here. So, okay, then I wanna put a finish on the end of this. So I'm just going to add a little button. Uh, that's the back side, hang on. There we go, that's the back side. So let's just put a little button here just to kind of finish this and then if it gets flipped over I want to put a button on the other side to finish the other side Yay, a flat one there you go okay so I'm just gonna put a dot of hot glue again the hot glue will stick great to the button and find the fabric it's all good so there is a little button sandwich <laughs> okay all right so then I'm gonna do the same little button sandwich idea on the back side as well, right here. It would be cute to hang a key or something from that, but I really need the key for my next bottle. So I think the buttons will be just as cute. It doesn't really need it because of all of this metal going on anyway. So, and I don't know that this lace is really the perfect lace to tie up, you know, I'd have, it, yeah, let's just do the buttons. They'll be just as nice. Okay. Let me do another button. Okay. So there's that. Okay. Okay. 500 stars. Wow. That's great for me. Okay, guys. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here is the next bottle. You can keep going. You could keep going and keep adding and adding and adding if you wanted. Um, I love that this is loose. I love that. Um, I love the old, I, I, I kind of like the simplicity of it. Look, you can still see the advertising through, oh, you might not be able to, but I can Yeah, there. See, you can still see the words that are typed into the glass. That's pretty, not typed in, but pressed in, molded in, whatever the word is. Um, yeah. Very sweet. So now we have a set of two bottles that we made um, for Shayla, for one of our followers here. Um, like I said, she gave me a couple bottles and asked me to do them up for her, and this is what I came up with. I love them. And then there's the backs. And we get this little key hanging here. I'm not sure you can see it, but there's a little key hanging there. So these two will sit perfectly together because of the bright, like the dark, elements in this match the dark elements in that and the creams match i think they sit great i think their heights are perfect i think they're going to set really nicely together 
Um, I do a lot of decorating for her, so I, of course, try to keep that stuff in mind <laughs> since I knew they were both going to her. So there you go. There's two bottles done and done. Um, so the next thing that I need to do is one last bottle if you all want to watch. I don't know if you want to stick around with me. Thank you, Nydia. Hi, Denise. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Let me see if anybody. Thanks, Julie. Yay, you're all liking. Oh, and I got my. Okay, Janet. Will you show the two frames you have hung and how you hung it? The two frames. The two frames I have hung. What are you seeing? That's one big frame right there. I don't know what two frames. I don't see. Um, that is an old chalkboard. Where are you? That right there is an old slate um, chalkboard. It's really cool. Uh, I mean, maybe, I don't think you saw this. Maybe when I got started, I don't know if that's what you're talking about. We did that in our group. So, and I have added and added to that. There are some scales in that and all sorts of good stuff. Um, I can take you over and show you that a little closer if that's what you're, I don't know what you're seeing, Janet. Um, yeah, I don't know what you're seeing. So you'll have, um, thank you guys. Thanks, Barb. Thanks, Nelda. Thank you guys. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Uh, what is the metal on the back? It is, um, the metal on the back is coins. They're old coins um, from, they're not worth anything. They're just cool looking. Um, this one's probably my favorite and it's a Frank. Um, this is just a token and, um, I can't, this is, uh, what did I say? Mexican? I think this is Mexican and it's stamped 1878. Um, the only reason why I know they're not worth anything is because, uh, there's a guy, um, that I bought most of these from that had a coin booth and he had expensive, like he had coins wrapped in those little cardboard things with the clear plastic or whatever. Um, so you could see the front and back without touching the coin. He was like a coin collector. So that's why I don't think they were worth, that's why I think they're craftable and the price, you know, I just think they were, I don't think they're anything now. Could he have missed one? Sure. You know, sure. But I'm, I'm just going, that's it. I don't know anything about coins. <laughs> So I just go by the fact that he said they were rejects. So, oh yes, that's the frames you wanted to see. Okay. Uh, I have three. Uh, you love the, thank you guys. We'd love to see. Okay. All right. Well, some of that stuff is in our group, like our secret. <laughs> our group. You have to be in the group. Um, but hang on here. So this if you want to know what it's like in our group, this is exactly what it's like in our group. We just sit and make like this. So, and it's all, it's $15 a month, so it's not too bad. Um, I try to keep the price down. So there it is. Um, and it all, I think it all hangs as one, as one piece. Yeah, it all hangs as one piece. And I just put, you know, a couple of nails up here and hooked them all together and then covered where I hooked them together with the, with moss. So I have this little um, tassel out of lace. It's just a tiny one. And I used rusty washer. I was going to show you what all I've tucked in this over the years. So, and then this was a, this is, well, this was just a little, uh, Patricia Clayton, one of my followers sent me that. I think she made it. And then this, I tie, this is a bouquet from my friend, Julie's daughter, Lydia, her wedding. This was one of the pieces off of the table that um, or this might have been her shower. I think this might have been the shower. Anyway, Julie let me have it, and I might have bought it from her. I can't remember. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, regardless, you can see where she wrapped it with the seam binding. And so I just tied that. It's just tied with a bunch of muslin shreds. And then, like I said, I saw that little hole right there, so I just tucked that in there. So you know, simple, simple. And then this is the edge of my bed sheet. Again, something else we did in our group, and I showed them how to get that look. Um, and that just sits up here. And then this is all just greens. These are from the website. Uh, and then I have an old scale in here. And then I have like this old scale you pull. When you pull down, you can see all of the numbers here. I don't want to pull it here. but um, And then I hooked this super old uh, padlock. My fingers are dirty. Uh, there, you can see it's an old combination lock. It's super old. 
Um, but anyway, I hung that off of the scale. So there's all kinds of treasures in there that you don't even realize uh, unless you're really, now that I've pointed them out, you can see, you can see the scale and the flower and the, you know, that you can see the handle now of her, of her thing. But anyway, I, um, <coughs> I just add, like I did the two pieces of the frame and then I had this frame and I'm walking around, what am I going to do with this? What am I going to make with it? And so I just tied it into there and then added that later. Um, and then this one, if the, I, this was probably the one you could see, and it's just a single frame, <coughs> excuse me. And this was just a really pretty unusual piece of lace with the pom-poms. And so I just, it was big and long, like a scarf. And I just tied it like a bow, added a, you know, a little pearl kebab -y thing in there, whatever. It was a, actually what it was, was from Pier 1 and it's a Christmas ornament. So you almost can't even see them, but I added some pearls in there and then the bigger spring scale, which you almost can't see either, but it's there with another a little old uh, padlock. And they're hard to find. That one has, I've got my fingers are dirty from the glue, it's glue. Um, but this one has a little tag hanging on it and it's got the numbers there you can see. So, um, Yes, Shayla, I have, okay, so I'm getting, I'm getting ready to do a live sale. I have some stuff here, uh, and there's frames. I have two of you that want me to make you yours, so I have two frames. I'm going to do the smaller two for your bedroom, so I haven't forgot you. It's just been tough, tough trying to find the frames. So I got you, Shayla, don't worry. Um, and I'm glad you like the bottles, thank you. So, okay. All right, so I have one more bottle. You guys wanna hang out? I kinda of wanna just knock it out and get it done. Um, that's what you love for your bed, yeah. Okay, yes, I got you. Um, you love the single, yeah, Sharon, it was just a pretty frame and it was an unusual shape and I just felt like it fit, you know, it fit there so well. So I thought, what can I, oh, and then I've got to show you the other thing. The other thing was just a really neat little a uh, brass tag that was stamped with a number in it, but it was an unusual shape. And you know how many stamped brass tags I, I get and have and have shared with you guys. There's more on the website. So, um, and it was on a leather string. So I just hung it there for a while. Eventually it'll go on a bottle or in a tassel or I'll do something with it. But for now it's there and so I can enjoy it till I get tired of it. And then, um, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> okay. All right. I hope you guys really wanted to see all that. Um, you're welcome. Thank you, Teresa. Okay, so let's do one more bottle. Just because I had, did I, did I show you that or was it me thinking out loud? Me thinking, talking to myself before you got here. Where'd it go? No, I think I showed you, but what did I do with it? Well, we might not be doing another bottle. Oh, for goodness sake, couldn't have got that far. I did, I did have it out because I took a key out of it. Okay, hang on. Here it is. I just pushed it under the lace. Okay, all right, let's get let's get comfy. <laughs> we'll do another one. One more. Okay, we'll see where this one goes. I really haven't thought this one out too much. Yes to the last bottle. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. I'm glad you guys are liking them. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put you down again. Get you, get you down here where you're not looking at me. Okay. <clears throat> so here's the last bottle. I think it was an old milk of magnesia. I only say that because it was. Says, it says, oh no, it doesn't say Philip. I thought it said Phillips. It doesn't say that. Maybe the other one did. Uh, this one says registered full half pint. That's what it says. I know you're backwards, so it doesn't really matter what it says. Anyway, I'm probably going to cover it up. So, yeah, I did show you this. I wasn't dreaming with the little chippy tag. I showed you that. And then I only have one piece, so we'll see how that goes. I can always run upstairs and grab another. And so let me just talk to you about the tops. I have lots of bottle tops on the website too. I know I keep talking about the website. If you don't know the website, it is um, TammyLovesVintage.com and it's T-A-M-I. It's always just the name of my page. So if you can't remember, that's most people, um, if they can, if it wasn't already claimed by someone else, it's easiest if you use your page name. So on any site that you're on, uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, I don't tweet, but I'm, I am on Twitter. I used to tweet a lot. No, I don't tweet very much. But I have Twitter. I have YouTube. Um, there's over 600, approaching 600 videos. I don't know if it's over yet, but we're getting there. So like 600 videos on YouTube. You could just sit and watch me all day. <laughs> don't do it on 
on the TV. If you do it on the TV, just don't tell me. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Uh, just because it's big. Mom's TV was big. I was like, that was a lot to see. A lot of me to see. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm look, used to looking at my little phone. So, uh, um, so YouTube, Pinterest. I've been hitting Pinterest hard. Um, lots of great stuff on there. Instagram, if you just want to look at pictures and you don't want to hear all the blabble, go to Instagram and just scroll the feed. There's just pictures and pictures and pictures. Um, and then TikTok has been like the funnest thing to do. So yeah, I've got a bunch of TikToks on there you can go through too. So there you go. But all of it is Tammy Loves Vintage and it's T-A-M-I. That's the only thing you have to remember. And then if you're like, what's the website? It's .com. T-A-M-I Loves Vintage.com. So there you go. And I recently, just as of like two days ago, have started putting some things on Etsy. Um, Tammy Loves Vintage. <laughs> there you go. So, okay. So keeping these, my, my background's such a mess, it's hard to see. Uh, keeping these kind of whitish things in mind, I pulled this. Now I'd have to do a little bit of rigging up to get that to stay, but I've done so many, uh, these are, uh, porcelain wheels. I've done so many wheel bottles. I'm like, eh, it's not, it's not floating my excitement level very high. Oh, I wonder if I could do this though. Nope. I thought. So good thinking. Um, I have this knob. Um, I have some knobs on there, you guys. So, and that sits really, that like came with it almost. It didn't, but it really fits it nicely. Um, that's a good one. Actually, I really that the size of is proportionate with the bottle. Um, I brought this little one too, which is super cute. Maybe a, sna a, a smack small, but I think with all of the white stuff on it, I might like the white. See if I can do a sneak peek. to that glass one and then I brought this one this is a new knob which you can always do new knobs but that's a loser that's no good that's no good but you can also this is like a Hobby Lobby knob Hobby Lobby knobby <laughs> you can always do that too uh, but no that is a big fat no you know what my heart is right here I love that I love it I love it I wish I loved this the wheels good I have so a mess with them um, over bottles. So I'm going to go with this one. Big surprise, right? Big surprise. So there's that one. Okay. Now then. Where's my lace for it? No. Nope. Oh, right here. Okay. So <clears throat> is this a collar? Is this two pieces? I mean, I can't see that. Oh, it's two pieces. Okay. All right. So let's unpin that. Okay, I picked this one earlier. Uh, just messing around. I hate that dirty finger. <laughs> uh, and it had pearls sewed into it. Like you guys have a ton of my pretty lace. I've sold so much lace uh, over the last couple of years, probably. Um, so you guys should be in good shape for lace. If not, there there is some lace on the website, so <laughs> help yourself. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's why I picked it. So looky, look, looky, looky. <laughs> See, I can angle. Well, oh, that's not very. Good. Hang on. I was thinking I could angle it, and you could still see the writing on the bottle. Okay, cool, right? I think that's good. Now we'll just have to figure out what to do with the back. So. First things first, let's get this sprayed. Okay, so I've got my old piece of cardboard. I know everything looks so bad, but I used to get a new piece out every time. I don't do that anymore. We just use the old. You guys don't care if I have a dirty board, do you? I don't think you really do. Uh, okay, so you know what? Mm. Boy, oh boy. Oh, I can. Here, I have a piece of a paper towel. I kind of want to keep that ruffle clean if I can. I'm going to see what happens. I want to keep that ruffle kind of flowy. We'll see if it'll. Okay. 
We'll see. I don't know. It might go underneath anyway. Okay. So I just give it a little squirt. Okay, I'm gonna take that off of there. Right now it's just wet. Oh, it is it does stick a little bit, but it's really mostly just wet. <clears throat> so let's give it just a minute here to um, you know the wetness will evaporate a little bit, I think, and it tends to get a, a little more sticky. And I've I never really maybe I've gone straight into on the bottle. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, I want to keep this little bit of pearls here on the front. And I do want it angled a bit, but I don't want to angle it so much that my lace goes off the side. Okay, we're just going in right like that. I'm going to figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to pull down here to smooth it out. Yeah, I love the lace being free like that. Now I need to iron that or spray it or something. Okay, let's flip this bottle over. Around here, lay it down tightly, and then we're gonna just wrap this. This we're just um, we're gonna put this on top because I like the I like that lace on top. Oh, if I can, there we go. Yeah, I like that better overlapping that way. Okay, so there we go. I wish that wasn't like that. Let's see here. I have a little bit of water in my in my cup. I wonder if I could get that wet and kind of make that go away. There's a real professional tip for you. Oh, can you see? Are you guys looking at me again? Jeez. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, all I did, I, I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Oh, there's got another little wrinkly spot. Let's just, I don't have my spray bottle here, but I got a bottle of water, so that'll do the same thing. My, my glass. My whatever that is. Okay, there. That's how I iron. How do you iron? <laughs> that's how that's how I do it. <laughs> so okay, all right. <clears throat> so the back, so the front's perfect. The front is awesome. The back is a little leaves a little to be desired. So let's clean this up. Let's fix this up. See what we can do to make the back better. Um, let's see. I want to do buttons. Let's see what I have in this. I got it. I was gonna do, this was a Christmas project that I never did. So, <laughs> I just put it in the bag to do it later. I never did it, but I've got buttons in here too. Let's see what all we have in here. This is, looks like a good, fun bag. I had another one of those. Oh, there it is. Let's just throw that in there too. Okay, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Oh, here's a piece of a chain. That would cover a good little hunk of it. Look at that. See how it went from blah to wow I have to do so if we do that then I have this old clock face that could totally go right there okay that kind of takes care of that spot and then <clears throat> what the heck's that for I don't even know let's see here oh I got all kinds of clock faces I could do another one but um Thinking. Oh, here's a nice big. Oh no, I don't like that. Yeah, let's. Let me find some dirty buttons. I need dirty buttons. Oh, just those two right there. Boom. All right, here we go. I love when I have buttons with thread in them, um, which this one has. And oftentimes I'll put a. Oh, here's even a better one with thread. Uh, I'll turn them upside down so you really get the thread. That's kind of a clear one. Hang on a minute. I gotta get the perfect one. That's not perfect. Hang on. I got buttons back here. Okay, hang on a minute. We just there's gotta be. Oh, that one might be a good one. Hang on. Big. That might be too big. This one. Not the same 
size. Yeah, too big. Oh, for goodness sake. I thought this jar was full of ones of threads in them. Everything's too big. Come on. There, 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 there. Want to see what a perfect button looks like in my world? Where are you? There you go. See how it's got the thread in it and it's just kind of dull and not awesome? But it is awesome on here, I'll show you. Let me show you the difference, just so you guys can see. Oh, shoot, <laughs> and I just dropped it. Oh, for Pete's sake, where did it go? <laughs> I had the perfect button. Oh, for Pete, oh, oh, here it is, I see it. Hang on. Okay, hang on. All right, <laughs> so I'm sorry, what a train wreck. Okay, so I put that one on. So I want to show you the difference. So there's like a good one. Can Yeah, you can see it. Okay, and then when I was saying like, nah, nah. Like, see how white? It just wasn't, wasn't right. And that one's okay. Again, too white. And this one was just kind of clear. It just wasn't feeling the same. But then when I get this dirty one... That's what I want. So when you guys order a bag of buttons from me and you get dirty ones with uh, string in them, just know that I was sad to put that in your bag because I wanted to keep it. Um, so don't be sad when you get a dirty button from me. Be happy because that's the best ones. <laughs> Those are the best ones. Okay. <clears throat> they really, really are. Okay. So then I have this old clock face. Is it upside down? Yes, it is. Good thing I checked. Okay, so this was just off of a off of a watch. It's an old crusty. Can you see an old crusty clock face? Okay. So <clears throat> and then I have this. So oh that's ah ha ha. I'm going to straighten that out and get more. Mm -hmm. I need to push it together. I think it's shorter. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, I'm going to just push it together and make it shorter. So and it looks like I might need a little tack up here. It didn't really I didn't get the spray good on the edges. I try to not <clears throat> uh, get that spray over the edge of my uh, poster board. So... Sorry, I haven't been on lately, you guys. It's been quite a while, actually. And I have no excuse. You know, the, I don't know why anyone would want to watch me. Uh, I don't, I'm not as good as these other girls. What, what are you doing? Why are you, you know, you're too fat. You're not, <laughs> your hair looks like crap. I, they've seen this shirt a thousand times, like all of those excuses is truly, um, yeah, really can get to you. Um, like just when I was pointing at those things, like all of the spots on my hands, I'm just so old. Like whose hands are those? Like what is happening? Um, dealing with all of that. So sometimes when I'm MIA, it's for no other reason than... I'm, I'm just being hard on myself and being ridiculous, and I know that, but I do it anyway. So that's where I've been. <laughs> that's why I have all these projects backed up that I want to make and um, just haven't done them because um, I knew I'd be back eventually. Um, yeah, <sighs> you were having withdrawal. <laughs> well, Lou, I was just being an old lady. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Oh, that's where I've been. <laughs> Having withdrawals. That's funny. You're funny, chicken. Okay. I'm going to add one more button right here. Uh, don't think I'm crazy. Uh, so, see? Right there. When you put look at the strings on that. Oh, so good. So good. Look at that. Yeah. Doing it. The back is quickly becoming the front, isn't it? The back is looking so good. I don't know if I can make the front look this good. Ah. So see what was wonky fabric is now really interesting and pretty. So, okay, 
Here's the front. We're going back to where we're supposed to be. I put way too much time in the back. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> this is like I found this box though. Dang. Like, look at this. It's an old earring. How cool is that? I love all this vintage. Like, I love that stuff. I know I can get new and I know, I know, I know, I know. I know there's great places now to get it, but like I, I, I like the vintage so okay there's that okay so if I tack that there I think I'm gonna do the neck next because I'm kind of getting like hmm so I'm gonna use this tea stained piece of muslin that I have here uh, so I'm just gonna put I'm going to the back Put some hot glue here. I'm going to leave the glass of the bottle, the lip of the bottle show. I could totally go up over it, but I kind of want that little bit of sparkle since there's going to be bottle down here showing. I kind of want to skip a bottle up there too. And then the top's going to be glass and I don't, I just don't want the top to just come from nowhere on this one. I, sometimes I take it all the way, sometimes I don't. And it's just, it's just a feeling, it's just a mood. It's just a... You know one of those artsy things <laughs> Jessica came one of the girls that paint with me um, she was painting by herself and was supposed to go do a ceiling or something and she called and said hey can I come help you today instead of painting yes absolutely and she did and it was great and that's how I got so much stuff on the website because she was staging it and taking pictures as I was doing descriptions and prices so Thanks, thanks for Jessica, <laughs> but some days you just don't, you just aren't in the mood, you know, you just, you really got to be in the mood to do a good job, and she just wasn't in the mood that day, and I totally get it, and you don't want to go when you're not in the right mindset, so I appreciate her honesty, and, and appreciated her help here with me, but my whole point is, you know, one day you're going to be in the mood to do something like this and you'll do it completely different than you thought you were going to do it. And that's just the creative, artsy person part of you coming out. It's There's nothing wrong with that at all. So here's one. It doesn't have any string, but I sure do like the... But is that bad that I didn't stop it in the center? Maybe. Hmm. Is it too late? It might be too late. Okay, so let's just do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it anyway, but I love, ooh, this is like an old alabaster button, actually. And you guys will get some of those in your bags, too. Those are really, they look like marble. If you're like, what does that mean? It looks like marble, and when you're really looking at it, let's see, when you really look, I'm looking to see if there's another one in here. Ah, here's a big one. It's got a marbly sort of look to it, and it's heavier. It, there, it's heavier than like a plastic like see it's just more dense it, it's it's heavy compared to the other uh, and it has a marbled look oh here's a glass one this one's just all glass and i know i was going to do a whole video talking about glass buttons um and i didn't do it but yeah that one's all glass that's pretty cool i never knew they made white glass buttons but here they made oh here's another glass one is it no it's plastic sure it looks glass on that side but it's not Okay, all right, back to back to the bottle. Okay, we gotta get back to the front here eventually, right? All right, so now I have to figure how do I wanna dangle this chain? And I was really thinking this might go well here. I feel like that chain should go off of up here oh oh how about that though what if you oh yeah 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 i was gonna cut this off but i'm not okay here's what i'm gonna do with this situation okay so i'm going to this is just a skewer you've seen me use it several times here today it's just a, a shish kebab wooden skewer it's got a pointy end which has been handy to pour stuff through. Come on. There you go. 
Did I get it? I feel like I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. There, I got it. Okay. So, hang on. There. Yes, you guys, this is exactly, like, this is exactly what it's like in my group. If you're enjoying this, you really should join my group. That would be the best birthday gift. If you all would join my group for one month <laughs> and you could see all of the stuff that we've done in there since February of 2019. That's how long I've had this group. Where have you been? Why haven't you joined? <laughs> you're missing it. You're missing so much. So much. And I do go live in there, even if I feel yucky, if I feel, I don't know, because those girls are just awesome. It's just like a friendship support group. I don't know. I love them. I love them. They've been with me for years. Every once in a while, we get a new one, and they just fit right in. I just couldn't love it more. It's just a great place. I only, I'm in three times a month, and I kind of do it like I do this. I I might go in three days in a row and that's it. Or I might go in, you know, a lot. I, I'm different. It's just different. I can go in whenever I want and I love it. I love it. And we've been doing some giveaways and yeah, it's just been a nice group. It's been a really nice thing. Okay. So here's where we are. Here's where we are. Okay. I got one more little thing to do. You'd be like, what? I can't imagine. But yeah, you can. Watch. I'm going to take the clasp of this chain here and I'm going to shove it through here. And if you're like, group, what group? How do I find your group? Whatever. It is called Tammy's Making. And you can find it on my website, TammyLovesVintage.com. That's where you sign up. And you can sign up and you can hang out with us and you can get out whenever you want but as long as you're in i made it super easy i'm so proud of myself i figured out how to do like i did what they call the guides up in the top of the group and it gives you like i broke it all down all the januaries are together now all the februaries and then i mean the everyday stuff is in its month too so you kind of have to check all the months but if you're looking for you know, spring projects or whatever, you you go right there and find them. So see, I tied just a little, ever so little on that empty end of that chain. I was thinking about tying my key there, but I don't, it's too, it's almost too much. So no, so no, that's a big fat net. All right, so here we go. Now, do I wanna tie a little bit of lace on the ends of those to finish those out? I think I do, I usually do. Um, but anyway, yeah, so you just go through the guides and you can find all of the old and we'll keep you busy in there for a while. You'll get your $15 worth for sure. And then some. Okay. There we go. I know my, I have a business coach now and she is on me constantly to raise the price. It's time, it's time, it's time. And you're supposed to close them. I just, you know, I just want it to be open. And when you're in the mood to join, you can join anytime. You don't have to wait. And I get it's all just a bunch of trickery or whatever. I get it. I get it. I'm the first one. Last day of the sale. I do it. I do the same thing. I get it. I get it. I get it. But I just kind of. Feel like I want you to be able to join when you want to join and you don't have to wait and I I don't know I feel like if I charge more I need to do better even better I'm better than I than when I first started of course but I feel like I need to do even better with like guest people and maybe scheduling it out and it's just tough for my it's tough for me to, to do that so I feel like by keeping it cheaper, it lets me, you know, be a little freer with it. And I don't know, it's just worked for so long like it is. I just kind of leave it that way. 
Yeah, what do you get a coach for if you don't listen to her, right? I know, I know, I know, I know. Oops, I'm out of glue. Hang on. I know. But I'm one of those people that do too, I'm doing too much as it is. I just don't, I don't want to promise more, put more on my plate and then not be able to do it. Or even more, not enjoy it anymore. And I want to enjoy it. So, yeah. So I always bring my best stuff there and that's why I'm probably not out here because I love everything. I want to keep it all. Every time I make something, like, oh, I want to keep that. <laughs> oh, got to keep that. Okay, I don't want to tack this down, but I may have to. I really like them when they're when they're moving. But of course, you get a 50-50 chance. And of course, I put it where it wants to fall around every time. Yep. So I'm going to have to tack it, I'm afraid. I mean, not really, whoever, wherever it ends up, it could just uh, be something that you just fix. Let them tack it, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, do I want to do, oh yeah, I gotta get my little key in here. Okay, so I have my clock face too, that would have been really cute. Maybe I should hang that key off of there. I don't know, I feel like it's, it overpowers my little number 11, and I love that number 11. Okay. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Here you go. So let's do the clock face. That's an old one. And I love the colors of it with this lace. I love that. And I don't know. Do I have like a teeny? Oh, hey, how about that? Oh, yes. You can't see, but I'll show you. It's a tiny little rhinestone off of the necklace. Never get rid of nothing. This one's a little bit bigger. You don't need the bigger one. Oh, yes. Okay, here's where we are. Here's where we are. So there's the little rhinestone in the middle of the clock face. Okay, that's where we are. And then I need... We're almost done, girls. Okay. Got that. Bow. Just a little one. I always tell the girls in the group, get your bow tied, pull it, get it tied, get your tails where you want them. And then you can always pull on the tails. Okay, to shorten up your bow, make it a little bit smaller, pull it again. You might have to do it three or four times, but you can work your bow down and get it smaller and smaller. Okay, just by doing that, just keep pulling and then pull the tails and then pull the bow and then pull the tails. Then you're going to cut your tails again. Out of the way. And then you have your sweet little bow. That's adorable. have to decide let's see that's going to hang straight down so that's going to be there and I don't want to cover that up too much okay here we go I'm going to put glue on the back because it will stick to that for sure and I kind of want it over here just a bit I still want to be able to see the um the buttonhole Here's where we're at. Okay. And yes, I want those loose. If I if I can, I want those loose. I know that keeps there. Oh, there. Um, yeah. And then here's the back. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And you can still see the writing on. Oh, put that. <laughs> you can still see the writing. Wonder if I put. Hey. I have an empty hole here. I'm gonna try this and see if that helps keep it from flipping over. I'm gonna fill the hole. Whoops, I need the pointy end. I'm gonna fill the hole here. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna 
Oh boy. I can in the back. I want the knot to be in the front. Okay. Okay. Just making another little detail. Snip that off. Throw that piece in the trash. Now, does that keep that? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Not really. <laughs> sort of maybe a little. There's the other piece of the chain and no. <laughs> I thought maybe it would help it stay that way, but it won't. Okay, so there you go. All right, so now for the top. I'm not gonna touch this for a couple of days um, because I'm gonna use E6000 and only E6000. I'm not gonna be handling the bottle anymore. I'm just gonna leave her sit right here. And so um, there's no reason to tack it with hot glue. I don't really wanna take up the space. Uh, for adhering with anything but E6000. So uh, I'm gonna go around here and I'm generously adding the E6000. Put my lid on here so it doesn't all lose out. I'm going to place it. Now there's not a whole lot to grab. And I'm kinda gonna squish it around so that it's all on the bottle everywhere. Boy, that top is amazing. I've got some pretty glass tops on the website. You'll, you'll see if you go check them out. There you go. There's the, the finished. I used to put my tops on first because tops usually set the tone for your bottle. They decide if it's gonna go rusty and dark or you know light and happy or um, you know even colorful, whatever. The tops always set the tone for the bottle, but I've learned to pick my top and just kind of have it there in the back of your mind, but put the top on last so you don't have to fight it when you're moving your bottle all around every which way. So if you do happen to catch an old video on YouTube of me doing bottles, um, just know that I did figure out to quit putting my tops on first. So don't just, you remember that, you're good. You're good, good, good to go. So, okay, woo, that was a lot. Um, but three bottles, done and done, done and done and done. And here they are all together for anybody that might have joined late in here for you. And they're all just so different. They're all very different, very pretty. There's more bottles on the website to choose from. And there you go. So, okay, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for helping me. Thanks for your advice. Thanks for all of the hearts, all of the stars. Thank you so much for those. That's just... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, now the next thing I'm going to do is, um, oh, I'm gonna, so in my group, if you happen to join, um, we're tackling something that I saw. I did a TikTok on it. Don't think I shared it in the group, but I'm going to be making a clock, a real working clock out of this wooden shoe. That's all I'm gonna tell you. We're all excited. The girls are all excited. I'm going to do it one day this week, uh, but I think right now what I'm going to do um, is put away what I can, and then I'm going to start laying stuff out and get ready to do a live sale. So be watching. I, pr I think I'm going to come on yet tonight and do it so that I can work on it all day tomorrow if anyone wants to join. Um, I don't do them super often, but uh, I, I am going to do at least one, I think tonight, and then we'll see how long it takes me to get through it. I may try to get another one in this week because I've got a free week. Um, Friday is my birthday, so I think we'll probably do something. Julie saw um, up in Amish country, I think it's, it's either this weekend or Friday night, I don't know, it's in the evening. They're having like an antique show, something. So we thought there's like breweries up there and stuff. It's, kind of fun to go to so we thought maybe we would try and use the birthday excuse to get the guys to go with us so we'll see um but that might be something that we get into we don't know i don't know probably sit here and eat a ho-ho <laughs> for the giggles
handle. Who knows? But anyway, <laughs> at my age, birthdays aren't that big a deal. But it is a nice excuse if you want it. If you want your husband to go somewhere he doesn't really want to go, tell him there's a brewery, <laughs> and it's my birthday. That's double. <laughs> That's double chances he'll go. So anyway, I'm free until Friday. So let's see what we can get done together, and you'll be seeing me again real soon here, probably yet tonight. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching me and hanging out with me while we make these beautiful bottles. I appreciate your company. See you later. Bye-bye.